everyone, Kathy with Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. Today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to review this new product here, Beyond Steak Seared Tips. My husband loves the um, fake meat stuff, so we're going to give it a try today. It's brand new. It takes five minutes to cook, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chili cheese steak, and he's going to taste it and let us know what he thinks. First, you want to heat a pan. I have two pans actually going here. I have one that I'm going to cook the mushrooms and the garlic and some Worcestershire and um, soy sauce with the meat. And in this one, I'm going to cook the onions, red peppers, and jalapenos. So we're going to start by putting the garlic in the pan. And I have some um, vegetable broth on the side in the event that it sticks, but hopefully it won't. It's a great pan. I like these scan pans because nothing really sticks to them, but you never know. Sometimes stuff sticks. And I'm going to throw the mushrooms in here because I'm going to cook those with the steak. In the other pan, I also have it heated at medium high. I'm putting one white onion that I cut into slices and one red bell pepper and again that's only going to take a few minutes to cook too five minutes and i'm going to now add the steak and the steak is frozen it's in the freezer department and this one's different than the um, veggie burger it has much less fat and it's made with faba bean protein and it honestly doesn't have that many it contains wheat and soy, but it really doesn't have that many ingredients. It has water, wheat gluten, faba bean powder, expelled pressed canola oil, salt, natural flavors, garlic powder, onion powder, pomegranate concentrate, yeast, and, and that's for the coloring. And I think it's probably going to look like meat once it's done. So we're going to cook this up. It says it takes five minutes. I'm going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce one tablespoon of soy sauce, those are mixed together, and I have a combination of a teaspoon of garlic powder, um, pepper, and salt, and we're going to cook that up. As you can see, it's all cooked up with the mushrooms. I didn't have to use any vegetable broth. It did not stick to the bottom of the pan. I also forgot to tell you, I, you, have to, or, you have to add the jalapeno when you put in the other. If you don't like spicy, skip the jalapeno, and these are all perfectly cooked. So now we're going to put the sandwich together. I have two Alexa off. I have two French rolls. They're sourdough. There's no oil in them. They're pre-baked. I bought them at Fry's. And what you're going to do is put a large helping of the mushroom and meat mixture in the middle of the sandwich. And this serves four people not two. The buns are very big, so we'll be cutting them in half. My husband might eat one whole one, but there's no way. Anyway, we're going to fill up the center with the meat mixture. And then The Philly, a Philly cheesesteak then has peppers. So I did the combination of sweet and hot peppers with onions that are going on the top. And again, if you don't like jalapenos, don't use jalapenos. You can use serrano peppers too. Those are really good. And then my husband loves this smoked provolone violet cheese. So the trick to making cheese melt in the oven is it all happens at 400 degrees. Vegan cheese does not melt unless it's in the oven for 400 degrees. Okay, we're going to put it in there for about four minutes, and then we're going to pop it out. Okay, the Philly cheesesteak is out of the oven. As you can see, the cheese is all melted. I had a special request for banana peppers on top of here, too. So we're going to add some banana peppers on his sandwich. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to cut this, and we're going to give him a taste test. 
Okay. okay, so here we are. This is the true test. He's going to let us know what he really thinks. Okay. The, the fake meat guy. I'm going in. It's all about the bread, too. The bread looks good. So. I usually have cheese whiz on here. But are you kidding me? Mmm. Okay, one to ten. What mm. do you think? Ten being the best. Hold on, it's around seven, eight, nine. That's a ten. Ten. Is the, right. tex is the texture good? Texture is good, yep. yep. And the mushrooms with it and the spices are good. good. Very good. Good okay. job. You succeeded. So, hey, we'll see you next time. Kathy's Kitchen, Kitchen, if you like our recipe.